Another very, very, very hot day today, but starting tomorrow, things are gonna to start to feel a little more comfortable for us. Right now, it's partly cloudy, and we do have one thunderstorm that we're tracking on WDSU First Warning Radar. Bogalusa, you're probably gonna get some rain in the next 15 minutes. There was another shower close to Thibodeau. That one is moving out of our area, but well, let's zoom in. Use our street level mapping. Okay, Bogalusa, you might get a little bit of that weather, but it looks like that thunderstorm may pass just to the south of you. Other than that, we are dry and we are hot. Check out the high temperatures today. We got up to 101 in Baton Rouge, and believe it or not, that didn't set a record. The record high is 102. 98, the high temperature in Slidell got to 97, both at the airport and at Hammond. Here are your current temperatures, 618 in the evening, and we're still in the mid-90s. 96 in Slidell, 93 officially in Kenner, 94 right now in Hammond. We have that excessive heat warning still in effect for about another 45 minutes. Now, tomorrow, we have a heat advisory that's in effect for the North Shore, only the North Shore. This is where the heat index could get up close to 108 for a couple of hours tomorrow. I'm gonna to show you why it's only the North Shore coming up in just a moment. Let's go to the tropics, because obviously we're watching Hurricane Burl, about 1,500 miles away from us, was a Category 5 storm late yesterday and early this morning. Now it's a Category 4 hurricane, still very impressive, dangerous hurricane. Even though it's going to weaken a little bit more, it's still going to pass close to Jamaica or over Jamaica, probably as a major hurricane, Category 3 storm. Here's the latest advisory that we have from the National Hurricane Center. Really hasn't changed that much as far as we're concerned. Expected to have upper level wind shear and some slightly drier air mixing in. Category 1 storm here approaching the Yucatan sometime on Friday. Gets out here into the Gulf of Mexico late Friday or Saturday. All the computer models, and here's a look at the most reliable ones. I know sometimes when we show these spaghetti plots, we have so many on here, and you're looking, you're like, what's that one? These are the most reliable ones when it comes to the last five years of tropical activity, all of them keeping that weather to the south of us. Now, behind Barrel, we have another tropical wave that looked kind of impressive about 48 hours ago or so. Now, just a 20% chance for development over the next seven days. All right, let's talk about some slightly cooler temperatures for you over the next few days. First of all, obviously, warm evening tonight. Any showers should be wrapping up in the next hour or two. Here's your morning. Look at this, a little more cloud cover and some showers popping up. The ridge of high pressure that's been bringing us the very, very hot weather, that's starting to weaken and move a little bit farther to the east. We're going to have a little more moisture in place at the mid-levels of the atmosphere. So a little more cloud cover to start your day tomorrow. And by the noon hour, we're already picking up on some showers, probably going to have a bit of a lake breeze developing, so the winds are going to be a little bit lighter. So on the south shore, already some rain around noon, 1 o'clock. The rain holds off for the north shore until the mid to late afternoon. So they will get a little bit hotter. That's why that heat advisory is in effect. Chance for rain tomorrow officially at 50%. A little cloudier, a little wetter, a little bit cooler. Fourth of July, pretty much the same scenario. By the noon hour, already picking up on some rain. Showers beginning to taper by about 6, 6.30 or so, so fireworks tomorrow. Fireworks on the 4th of July, I think we're looking good both nights because the rain should be wrapping up around sunset. Showers ending tonight, warm, muggy, close to 80 degrees to start your day tomorrow. Increasing clouds, not as hot. We do have that heat advisory in effect for the North Shore tomorrow. And then the chance for rain, well, it stays at about 40% for us for the 4th of July. And then the heat, that's yeah, starting to come back for us. We're going to be a little bit drier and back into the mid-90s for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So those are going to be uh, not weather alert days for us, but weather impact days for us. Again, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. That's your WDSU first warning forecast.